Guys, Nelson, welcome back to my channel once again. So today I'm going to one of the beautiful destinations in the Euro. And uh, currently we are heading towards the Preston stations. I'm pretty much excited. And you can see out here, it's like this early in the morning. So everyone is just rushing to their work. And I'm heading to the Preston stations now. So my terminal is terminal one so i'll be just heading from upstairs from this uh, ladder case and we'll just go out within terminal one for the check-in guys Woo, what a sunny day today isn't it so my terminal is terminal one so let's go to the terminal one from here security done and I think this is one of the fastest security I've ever done in the Manchester airport guys so now we are heading back to the duty-free area and then after we'll just chill out and this is the duty-free area of terminal one right a right one three six two two Helsinki this is a final call passengers bridge Garset Shaw and Wolf Got immediate Let's check our flight, guys. Well, so my flight is 1250, and there is no any good information right now. So, what we'll do is we'll just go forward and we'll just enjoy in the lounge. I mean, lounge is basically like just a sitting lounge, man. I'm not going into the fancy lounge, but I'm just trying to chill out in the sitting lounge and just wait for the gate into Masons. Oh man, look at here, the different glasses over here. So it says like 20% off in the sunglasses. But the weirdest part is like, I've left my sunglasses in the Turkey when we were in the holiday a uh, couple of months before. So let's go out from this duty free area and just chillax over the in the waiting area. And look at it you guys so this is the terminal one um sitting area so it's not so big not so massive so yeah we'll, we'll just chill out over here just to wait for the couple of um hours and then after we'll just go down to the gate guys the good thing is like my gate is now finalized my gate number is gate number four and i'm heading to heading down towards the gate number four The bike guys is absolutely amazing there today. Isn't it? things and immigration is done so I'm just going outside now the good thing is like I'm a Libera mobile holder so Libera is also working over here so we are going to the public bus I just need to take a bus number 10 so that I can just go to the center cruise because I've already booked the hotel over there and I'm pretty much excited guys guys now finally I can say that I am in Tenerife and this is how it looks like over here in the Tenerife you can see how Sun's out, bones out, absolutely amazing. And currently the weather is around like 21 degrees Celsius. So what I'm trying to do is like, I'm just trying to find out some public bus so that I can just go down to the Santa Cruz. I'm absolutely feeling amazing guys. I'm in the Europe second time. 
my boss is boss number 10 so it says like we just need to follow this route so this route is down there so i just need to go down over there and find a boss number 10 and it, it says like it takes 10 quid at around like 10 euros to go down to the santa cruz so i'm pretty much confused out here so i'm just trying to find out some information with the people oh man look at this i found that boss number 10 so down there it's a massive crowd of the people like going to the santa cruz look at here I think I just need to stay in the queue now. Guys, I'm finally settled in the bus and uh, going to the Santa Cruz. So pretty much excited now. So talking about from here, so what you can do is like once you come out from the Santa Cruz South Airport, um, you can just take a public bus and uh, that will go to the different places. Like here is some of the interesting places around is San Cristianos as well as um, Santa Cruz day or something like that so tomorrow my plan is to go to the Saint Cristianos so I'm just taking a bus number 10 which will go to the Santa Cruz and then after I'll just walk in around and I'll just take it into the hotel I'm absolutely boiling look at the weather outside it's absolutely amazing isn't it the sunny days and the interesting things is like you can see out there there's so many palm trees it looks like there are so many palm trees and coconut trees around so it's a beachy vibes here look at these postations guys we just arrived at the santa cruz now now what i'm trying to do is like i've just already um set a map to my hotel my hotel name is hotel oceano centriano so I'm just going down there over there and uh, looking forward to check which is the best route from here and possibly I could be there over by walk because it, it's showing in the walking distance obviously so this is the first look of Santa Cruz guys look how absolutely it looks like isn't it so if you check over the here so there's the massive volcanic mountain or something like that so this place is a lucky class Everywhere you can see this big building, all these were the hotels. So everywhere is the hotels you will find over here in the Santa Cruz. So I'm just uh, trying to go down to my hotel just to check in and um, just walk in. I've already felt in love with the city to be honest. And when I came here, so I thought like this place is more of a similar kind of like uh, the, um, the California or maybe the Nevada, Las Vegas, something like that, something like that, because. You can see the landscape out here is absolutely dead, kind of like desert or something like that. So I absolutely love this place, man. Look at this place, man. It's amazing. So this is the first tram I've ever seen over here in the Santa Cruz. So the tram is approaching on the... We'll check it out. So where this tram will go tomorrow. So this place basically looks like a walking street. It's not like a vehicle zone. So it's amazing man. I'm already felt in love with the city to be honest. So guys, we are now in the hotel. So we have just checked in and I'm just trying to uh, open my door. As you can see that my breath is like going <laughs> high now because this floor is literally the fourth floor. So this is my room number. So guys, we are now checked in. So this is my hotel. So you can see over there that there is a wardrobe, there is a TV screen, there is a mirror, and there is a bathroom plus toilet. And here you can see, so there you can see the outside view, but it's already dark now, so you cannot see anything so over here. So what I'm trying to do is now, I'm just trying to take a shower, quick shower, and then after I'll just go down, bang in the road, and start walking around. There is the lovely, lovely vibes. And uh, yeah, so I'm feeling absolutely excited. And to be honest, like the reason why I'm, I'm, I'm doing this video in the English is like most of the uh, the subscriber, they used to say me that, why you don't do the video in the English? So I thought like, why don't you try at least once? So after this video, I'm going to 
back in Nepali. So obviously you're gonna get a, so much information about a Tenerife and something like that. So there is so many places around to just visit as well as you can just go in the different walking center as well as you can just take a tram buses and go to the Los Cristianos, Los Americanos, which lies in the south of the uh, the Tenerife. Basically this place is called uh, uh, the Canary Island. So this is the main capital city of the Canary Island, the Santa Cruz de Tenerife. So obviously this video is now over. So I'm going to switch back into the Nepali. So make sure like you like, share, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next vlog guys. Thank you so much for watching. Signing off. Thank <laughs> you.